Hi guys, today I'm here to talk about products that I regret buying. It's not to say that they're bad products, but they just definitely didn't work for me. So if any of these products do work for you, be sure to let me know down below and be like, Samantha, using it completely wrong. And just to address the elephant in the room, my hair is gigantic. It couldn't have any more volume in it, but I figured, you know what? If you want to be huge today, I'll let you do your thing and I'll control you with a sock bun tomorrow for sure. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I regret buying is the NARS Guy Bourdain palette. And I think if I remember that correctly, I bought this last Christmas or two Christmases ago um, after my boyfriend and I had broken up and I was feeling like I needed something in my life and I love NARS but I haven't really dabbled in it very much um, so I wanted to try it out it's got six products in here four blushes the Laguna bronzer I'm pretty sure and then a highlight um, it's got orgasm in here but I just I don't reach for it this blush is way too light for my liking this highlight I wish it was albatross but it's not um, the bronzer isn't really bronzy enough for me and then these just have so much shimmer in it um, and it was like 60 bucks and yeah I just I regret buying it it was totally an impulse kind of I need to get my hands on this everyone's freaking out about it kind of thing the next thing I don't reach for ever is the Too Faced um, La Creme lipstick in the shade in the buff and gorgeous packaging um, it doesn't hurt so much because I got this on Hot Look so I think it was about like eight or ten dollars um, and they're regularly somewhere in the 20s but this literally looks like nothing on my lips it looks like a lip gloss at best not even my lips but better so again it's just a matter of like shade for me um the next item is a foundation I test out a lot of foundations because I have oily skin and a lot of them don't work out this one was the worst foundation I have ever used for oily skin I had good coverage good lasting power but by the end of it, I have an Oily Skin Diaries. It's one of my older videos from my old channel, but I'll link it in one of those new annotations above. Um, but it literally looked like I had ran a marathon. Like, it was disgusting. Um, so not to say it's a bad product. I love the matte version of it. Um, but this kind of, like, dewier version, not for oily skinned gals like myself. Um, the next thing is a MAC blush in the shade Mocha. Uh, my grandmother was out of town. I think she was in British Columbia and she was like, do you want me to pick you up something? And I was like, okay, yeah, like get me a blush from MAC. And I didn't really do much, much research into it. And I got the shade Mocha because it was pretty popular. Um, but it's just a little bit too light for my skin. I do like it as an eyeshadow on my eyes. Um, but as a blush, it just... I don't know, it's not really a blush color that I reach for ever. Okay, the next item is a concealer. It is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. Um, I love the foundation, I love the powder foundation, but this, it is like, I think it's water-based and it literally seems like water. I use it on its own in a face of the day and you could still completely see the darkness under my eyes. Uh, even if I use another concealer and put this over it, it doesn't have enough pigment in it to really like brighten and highlight. Um, so yeah, this is totally a regret. I'd say if you're looking for a drugstore concealer, the NYX HD or the Maybelline Fit Me are totally, totally worth it, even if they're like a dollar or two more, um, because this did absolutely nothing for me. Then the second last product that I regret purchasing are these Nick, uh, Nick's, <laughs> these OCC lip tars. And I got this, I think the same time I got this like NARS palette in my like, wah, I'm going to be alone forever. I just broke up with my boyfriend. It's Sephora order. <laughs> and it was like a Christmas set. It was only like 25 bucks or something. Nothing wrong with the product. They're cute. Um, they're small because you'll never run out of an OCC lip tar. I'm wearing uh, this one on my lips today. It is in the shade Memento, and then I have the deep one in the shade, it's written in black, so I can't tell. I think it's Black Dahlia, then Anime, and NSFW. Gorgeous shades, nothing wrong with them, but they're just way too high maintenance for me. Um, and liquid lipsticks are all the rage that come in a tube with a doe foot applicator, and they dry matte. Um, but these just kind of scare me. Um, I may try and put them to use now that I've kind of dug them back out of my collection to, to use in this video, um, but if I don't end up using them, um, they're going to be getting the boot because it's just too high maintenance and I have too many lip products to have things like just sitting around for no reason. This palette, this literally has haunted my dreams for the past three years. Um, I went to Sephora uh a couple years ago right or a couple months before the naked 2 palette came out this is when i had just discovered youtube it was before i had a youtube channel and i wanted to get a naked palette because everybody was talking about it but then i heard the naked 2 was coming out so i was like ah, i should probably hold off and like get the naked 2 instead of the naked 1 and like save my money but then i decided to buy this 
for $50. And literally, I think about it all the time. I'm like, Samantha, why? Why did you do that? Obviously, Naked 2 was going to be different from Naked 1. So if you got Naked 1 and you're willing to spend this, ugh, still haunts my dreams. Because I only have Naked 3 right now and I feel like such a fake out YouTuber for not having all the Naked palettes. So ridiculous. Nothing wrong with this palette. It's gorgeous. This shade is Kitten. Everybody loves it. Emily Noel raves about these top shades. Um, and she did a whole video on it. After I saw it, I was like, okay, Samantha, get it together. Start using this palette. And I just... I think it's mostly that I just have disdain and regrets for this palette. Not that it's a bad palette and that I wouldn't use it, but I just can't because I'm mad at myself for not purchasing that damn Naked One a few years ago. It is me from the future and I was just doing swatches so I could show you close-ups of all the products that I regret buying. And I gotta say, I've got a newfound kind of respect for two of the palettes that I was kind of talking crap about, the NARS blush palette as well as the uh, Stila palette. So it kind of goes to show that like the things that you stuff away in your makeup collection and then kind of revisit, they actually may not be so bad after all. So I still, I'm not like, yay, I purchased them, but I'm going to try and bring them out of my collection and uh, use them a little bit more because the top row of that Stila palette is actually pretty beautiful. I think it was more just me being like mad that I had purchased it. So anyways, me from the future, go back to me from the past. <laughs> those are all the products I regret buying. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks for any of those products that I mentioned. Um, and I can actually put them to use and stop being mad and bitter about it, especially that Stila in the light palette. If you've ever done a video with it, link it down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>